Now it's time to talk about SSL and TLS. In the previous sections we have talked about uh, symmetric, asymmetric encryption, about certificates and so on. And uh, you know that uh, certificate is uh, used primarily for establishing trust between web browser and web server. So when web server supplies you certificate, you verify signature in that certificate, you verify its validity period uh, and so on. But uh, certificate is not used itself for encryption of data between uh, web browser and web server. And that's uh, where SSL and uh, TLS protocols come in. So SSL stands for Secure Socket Layers and the TLS stands for Transport Layer Security. And both SSL and TLS are cryptographic protocols. And that means that they are used primarily for encryption of data. And those protocols are used in HTTPS. But uh, what is the connection between SSL, TLS and certificate? Actually, certificate itself is not dependent uh, and uh, does not set exactly which uh, protocol, either SSL or TLS, must be used for data encryption. And it means that the same certificate may be used either for SSL or TLS. So sometimes uh, you hear such a term as SSL certificate. Sometimes uh, SSL TLS certificate. Sometimes uh, TLS certificate. But uh, I prefer to use term certificate without any prefix uh, like SSL or TLS. That's because of reason above. So certificate doesn't depend on specific uh, protocol SSL or TLS. So each certificate may be used either for SSL or TLS. But if you want to be more specific and uh, tell others that you are talking about digital certificates that are used for encryption, you can add prefix SSL TLS, like that. But very often term SSL certificate is used. But in the next lecture I'll explain you why this term is actually wrong and shouldn't be used anymore. So see you in the next lecture.